हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू द लेक्चर्स ऑन थ्योरी ऑफ ऑटोमेट एंड कंप्यूटेशन लेट अस डिस्कस टुडे एन एग्जांपल ऑफ कन्वर्जन ऑफ नॉन डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा टू इट्स इक्वलेंट डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा राइट नाउ सपोज ऑफ दिस वन इज द गिवन एग्जांपल एंड वी आर सपोज टू डिजाइन और कंस्ट्रक्ट एन इक्वलेंट डीएफए फॉर द गिवन ट्रांजिशन डायग्राम सो व्हाट शुड वी डू राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस सी दैट वेदर द गिवन Uh, automata is DFA or NFA, right? So we'll start from the initial state and check with all the input alphabets. Now, if the next state, if there is only one next state for each and every state with each and every input alphabet, then we say that the given diagram is DFA. Otherwise, it is known as a NFA. Fine. So the best way to check this, what we'll do, we'll draw a transition table. Now there are only two inputs in the diagram, so we'll write zero one over the row heads. We will write the states, so we will write Q naught, Q one, and Q two. Fine. Now we will mark the initial state and the final states. So Q naught is the initial state, so we use an arrow. Q two is the final state, so we put a star. These are the notations which are used in the transition table to denote that of. specific state is initial state or is just a state or a final state fine now first of all we'll draw the transition table q not with zero so if we check q not with zero the next state is q not q not with one right so the next state comes out to be q1 next q1 with zero is q1 q1 with zero and q2 so what we'll write we will write q1 comma q2 and we will enclose these states in the parentheses or in the braces to deter to denote that this is a set right then q1 with 1 i will check q1 with 1 the next state will be q1 fine then what we'll do we will check for q2 q2 is 0 next state is q2 Q2 with one, that is Q2 and Q1. So again, we will write over here Q1, Q2. One doubt which students generally have that whether to to write over here Q1 comma Q2 or Q2 comma Q1. Fine. So the order of the states doesn't matter at all. You can write either Q2 comma Q1 or Q1 comma Q2, but you should use a comma in between to denote that these are two separate states. fine the order doesn't matter here that doesn't matter at all what does matter is the members in the set that which all members you have fine now the conversion process how to convert it is very simple again we'll draw a transition table write the inputs 0 and 1 we will write the initial state fine write the transitions q not with 0 is what q not q not with 1 is what q1 fine now we will forget this table right i would like to do one thing before we will call this as a present state column and these two states as next state columns these two columns as next state columns fine so what we will do we will look at the next state column next state with 0 is q0 with 1 is q1 now we will check which one is the new state either q not is the new state or q1 is the new state now how we will define a new state what is a new state basically a new state is a state which has not yet appeared in the present state column fine so if i look at the present state column present state column contains q not so that means this is not a new state this is an old state if i look at q1 q1 has not appeared in the present state column so what we will do we will write the transitions for q1 here right what will be the transitions for q1 q1 with 0 again we look at the diagram or the table it will come out to be q1 comma q2 and then q1 again what we will do we will again check in the next state column that whether a new state appears or not if it appears then we write the transitions for that particular state if it doesn't appears what we'll do we'll stop the process here and we declare that as a 
deterministic finite automata fine so before this we were discussing about whether the given automata is a nfa or dfa if we look at the transition table then if we see any of the cell containing a set of states fine for example in this here you will find q1 q2 here you are finding q1 q2 fine so that means from one particular state with one particular input alphabet we have more than one next state fine so over here the machine will get confused that whether at q1 i must go to 0 with 0 i must go to q1 or with 0 i must go to q2 fine so to avoid such confusions what we do we will draw a dfa basically fine so now the conversion process process resuming the conversion process fine so we were looking at that whether there exists a new state any new state appeared yes a new state appeared the name of that state is q1 comma q2 fine now the students normally again make a mistake over here they write transition only for the q2 but not for the q1 because they say or they basically derive that q1 is already appeared right but no over here we will consider this as a single state q1 comma q2 will be considered as a single state right q1 has already appeared so it is an old state but q1 q2 has not yet appeared in the present state column so we will consider this state as a new state fine now how to write the transitions for q1 comma q2 with 0 and with 1 for such set what we will write we will write delta of q1 comma 0 union delta of q2 comma 0 it's very simple fine let's see q1 with 0 is what q1 with 0 q1 q2 q2 with 0 is what q2 fine so q1 comma q2 union q2 what will come out it will be q1 comma q2 fine so over here what will we will write q1 comma q2 next q1 q2 when with one what it will be it will be delta of q1 union delta of q2 fine so delta of q2 q1 with one q1 with one is q1 q2 with 1 is q1 q2 so what it will become it will become q1 q2 right now we will see if there any new state appears no no new state appears so we will stop the process here now whenever we draw fa or a transition table we have to denote the initial state and the final states initial state we already know that we q0 is an initial state what we need to specify over here is the final state right now how to do that we will look at the given finite automata in the given finite automata q2 is a final state right this one is a final state so what we'll do we will look at the present state column and all those states which contains q2 as a state or as a member state we will consider those states as the final states right how to do this we look at q no q2 it doesn't includes q2 we will look at q1 sorry we will look at q0 it doesn't includes q2 we will look at q1 it doesn't includes q2 then we will look at q1 q2 now q q2 appears here so we will consider this state as a final state for the converted transition table right now we will say that this one is a dfa because we are considering q1 q2 as a single state one state there is one more step which we can perform how we basically do this step in this step what we do we will rename the states how we will rename q0 as a q1 as b q1 q2 as c we will draw a new transition table with 0 and 1 we will write the transitions for a b and c where a is the initial state c is the final state and the transitions and the transitions a with 0 a with 0 is what it's q naught so that is a a with 1 is b next over here b with 0 is q1 q2 and we have renamed q1 q2 as c b with 1 is b c with 0 c 
c with 1 is c fine so we can write over here delta delta we write because this transition table gives you the transitions from one state with input alphabets to the next state fine so this one is the final dfa for the given diagram we can also draw the transition diagram for the dfa which we have converted so with a at a with zero we come back to a with one it goes to b from v with zero it's going to c c is the final state with one so this is the final dfa for the given transition diagram right i hope that the method over here is clear to you if you have any further doubts or query please mention in the comments below we will definitely get back to you thank you for watching this video